Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping content on the channel. And now onto the topic of this video and pretty much the whole community for the last 36 hours has been a talking about what is now called the adjustments to S16 heroes. What happened? Well, yesterday morning, we all woke up to see that we could finally unlock our reward SX-16 rewards chests that we had been given as compensation for the errors at the end of last season in the rewards. People started selecting their chests to open them, and they were finding that the SX-16 heroes were giving them way more fragments than the other heroes. In fact, eight times more. I woke up and noticed something was wrong when I started seeing the notifications on my screen that the same person, the same player, had got the same hero multiple times, just flashing over and over again. I was like, what's going on here? So it was transpiring through the day that no one actually knew what was really going on. Then there, were, there was talk about the 34 copies of the heroes. And we finally got to the point today where the devs earlier, a few hours ago, six hours ago now to be precise, have released this um, mail to us all from the Rise of Empire Studio adjustments to X16 heroes. So let's have a look at what it's all about. So, dear Lord, in order to make it easier for you to get X16 heroes, remember this is the normal seasonal heroes, the administratum decides to make the following adjustments. Previously, it took four identical heroes to upgrade a hero, which we all knew. That's what it's been like since, you know, forever basically when when it's a seasonal hero from s1 onwards now it takes 34 identical heroes to upgrade well to max an x16 hero initially everyone's thinking whoa 34 copies that's the same as the exclusive heroes you know your alfred your um cleo etc however you then read, but the difficulty to get X16 heroes will be reduced proportionally. Again, we weren't sure. Some people were getting this message about it being reduced proportionally. We weren't sure what it was. So we do know for sure now. First off, we also adjusted the X16 recruitment pool. The orange heroes in the pool contain two X16 heroes and some SO heroes. The item required for recruitment is still the super recruitment ticket. Now, we don't have the seasonal banners yet. We haven't started SX-16. However, my understanding of reading of this is that when we get to the banner, you will just get X-16 heroes and then your normal orange. Obviously, previously for all the other seasons, for so many seasons now, it's always been that you would get the enhanced chance to acquire that seasonal hero that current seasonal hero or you would end up one of those dreaded sx1 to sx3 heroes that were also in the recruitment pool so my understanding my kind of yeah understanding now is that every time you pull a seasonal hero it will have to be an x16 hero none of this old hero rubbish you no more 10 datches in a row or whatever or cicero now, they even for the devs, un, unusually for the devs, I have to say, they have a, actually gone into very specific detail. So um, we'll come back to this um, chart in a second. But previously, the chance to get a seasonal hero was around 1%, which is correct. I think it was 1.8%, something like that, or 1.4%, sorry, 1.4%. And it took 90 to 120 super recruitment tickets to get a hero of the ongoing season. Now, again, that is an average um, some people will say, well, I got a hero after 10 tickets. And others will say, well, I used 140 tickets, 150 tickets, and I didn't get a hero. Again, it was all down to chance. Now, they're saying the chance to get an X-16 hero is 10%. And with two 10 times draws, as in the ones where you use 10 tickets and you get an 11th uh, chance for free, they're saying you have a chance to get one to two X-16 heroes. So, on the chart above, it shows you that X16 heroes with skills 6 and 7 at level 10 and skills 5 and 8 at level 8 should take about 240 to 336 tickets. This compares to the current previous like way of doing things with seasonal heroes, which should have taken you 
um, about 270 to 360 tickets to get skill 6 and 8 to level 10 and not unlock skill 7. In reality, we all know that it was taking way more than this amount of tickets often to uh, get two, well, effectively three copies of that same hero. In fact, some big spenders had even spent 1,500 tickets and hadn't got this many copies. So it will be interesting to see how this is calculated because they've put a notice here to simplify. The calculation is one season hero was previously taken as 90 to 120 tickets, but bear in mind that was any you weren't guaranteed the current seasonal hero and they're saying that now you're basically guaranteed an x16 hero with 10 to 14 tickets the probability might fluctuate please refer to the actual results for the final effect yes it will probably end up being more than 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 that so in theory they're saying that it might take you 476 tickets to max an x16 hero deep breath now let's look at let's look at the positives by having so many copies like you do the exclusive heroes one benefit is that you can actually unlock all of the skills much quicker because you will end up picking up four five six seven even eight copies of this hero very quickly in theory with this season system even if you're a free to play player who can only accumulate, say, 150 tickets a season, you can, in theory, in theory, I stress, you could unlock a new, these new heroes with very little tickets and be able to have all their skills active. Now, I think we would all agree that even though a skill might have a lesser chance or it might not be as possible, having it actually activated is better than it not being activated. So... In that regard, I guess it is making recruitment a more level playing field. But obviously with this caveat that obviously spenders are still going to have to use maybe a thousand tickets, say, to max both the heroes on day one, if that's what they want to do. But everyone else should have access to all of the skills much quicker. For me, I think that's a real positive, um, And I think that's probably one of the key aims of what they're trying to do with this system. That's my understanding. How the system has been implemented and communicated, again, you know, why wasn't this released yesterday when they first already was unlocking, allowing us to unlock the chest with the heroes? Who knows? Um, 34 tickets, like, it's a bit of a weird number if you're just looking to increase the chances, but I guess in theory it kind of works, corresponds with what you're doing with exclusive heroes. So we'll just have to wait and see until the recruitment banners themselves, but we could be seeing a lot of notifications on the first week of SX16 or the first day of SX16, and I will try and bring you a recruitment video on those days. The two other things to think about are, first off, what's included in this text here. Um, at the same time, the method of obtaining fragments such as hero coins will not be adjusted, and the difficulty of obtaining X16 hero fragments will also be reduced equally. So does that mean that, for instance, you use 60 tokens and you would get 40 fragments of the hero, eight times what the current rate is? Obviously, currently you can get five fragments for, for 60 tokens. Um, or even up to, like, say, if you use 2,000 tokens, will that get you eight copies, 1,600 fragments, for instance? If you look at it from the same principle of um, how they've done the season rewards chests as well, the ones that we've received already, they are giving you eight copies of this hero. So it stands to reason that once you get to your end of season rewards, if you obtain, if using one of your tickets from your rewards, you would get eight copies of this SX16 seasonal hero as well. That's that's me just guessing, but I, I mean, logic would dictate that's what's gonna happen. So it's the biggest change to recruitment in years basically um they have been saying that they were going to optimize hero recruitment i think as far back as last october um it's definitely something that's needed in the game if this is going to be actually what it says it is on the tin and giving people like a more level playing field with their heroes and actually giving meaning that people do use less tickets um Let's just, I for one final kind of fun little bit at the end of the video, I have actually saved my recruitment, legendary recruitment chests from my 
uh, selection card tickets. I haven't used them yet. So X16 Recruitment 1 gives you the chance to get 200 fragments of Pepin, El Cid, Darius, Esselfred, or Clovis. Or you can get Gnaeus Pompey, which is basically Caesar, 1600 fragments. That's the X16 hero. Or on Legend Recruitment Chest 2, you can get 200 fragments of Pepin again, Belisarus, John 1, John the First, Ashoka, Manding Line, or Frederick the First, who is an archer's hero, I think. So we're going to try um, these two chests first. Let's get that. Oh, Darius and Pepin. So I haven't got an X16 hero there. Let's open up on chest two. Still no X16 hero. So what shall I go for with? I'll go with, um, we'll go with option one again. Let's see if I can finally get an X16 hero. I wanted to do a first look video. Esselfred. Okay, well, hopefully the X16s will, oh, well, actually, I might be able to get access to them from another account, but um, you would then obviously end up with these copies. So that's more season, at least I've picked up five seasonal heroes to use. Um, of course, if you're collecting skins, you need to use these. And just having them spare is always good as well. I didn't need any of those heroes, but... Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on these changes, guys. Do you think it's a positive? Do you think it's a negative? Um, what do you think? How how I've described it, do you think that's an accurate description of what's going to happen with this system? Um, you know, would you have liked to have seen the devs optimize recruitment in a different way? It sounds like having just the two seasonal heroes on the banner is exactly what we've been looking for for a long time. But obviously now they've increased the, the number of copies that you need considerably to max them. So yeah, I'd really be interested in your comments on this one. And of course, if you have liked this video, please do click on that like. And if you could share this video and my channel in your Alliance chat, Florence chat, through line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.